In this easy screencast, we're going to walk through how to leverage your seating chart to work for you instead of against you. Now, there's going to be some slight differences between the middle school and the high school as we go, just in terms of how the sections are set up, but overall the methodology would be the same. First off, we're going to click on the orange edit button in the top of your bar when you're looking at your seating chart. Now, first off, you can rename this seating chart to match what you would like it to be. So in this case, you might want to set it for uh, learning in red or learning in yellow or learning in green or whatever organization you have for your class. Now, as we look through my seating chart, you might notice that things look a little bit different on my end, and that's because I've hidden the students' pictures and then color-coded their names out of the seating chart so that way you can't see any identifiable information, but the process is the same. Over here on the right hand side I'm going to make sure that both sections are checked off if I am a high school teacher. I could also, uh, if I was a middle school teacher, I'd only have one section in all likelihood to ensure that I have checked, but that would show all the students that I have during period one for trimester one. Then as we scroll down the list we have our seating chart configuration. You can change how the student name is formatted, how that displays in your seating chart, so that way you can control whether it is first name, last name, with their nickname, anything like that. The nicknames are incredibly useful for students who identify with a different name than one that is on their record. Then you want to make sure that always alpha sorted is unchecked or else this process won't work. And then make sure, usually you have students photos shown and you might also choose to show the section in this case so that way if you have multiple sections you can identify which student belongs to which. Scrolling down a little bit more there are a bunch of other options that you have on this um, seating chart configuration section but the next piece that you might be interested in is the seating chart dimensions option. Now I usually crank this to where I can fit the most number of students across my screen and have as few as little amount of scrolling as I possibly can but you can adjust it to see how it fits for you. Then where it says unassigned students this is where we have all the students who are not placed in our seating chart and this is where we can start making some magic happen. So I'll say fill alpha and now if I look up at my seating chart I'll notice that I have this is high school keep in mind so I have Scott's students in one section and BE students in another and they're all mixed together. But in order to make this work for me I'm actually going to click and drag and rearrange all my Scott students to show up all grouped together. And yes, it takes a little bit of work the first time to do it but once you've done it once and you click save then you won't have to do it for this class again unless you have students that add or drop different sections. For example if students come back from remote learning or choose to leave for remote learning. Okay, So we can just go through, rearrange as necessary. Now I just brought up another group that you might choose to segment out and that would be your remote learners and for students for example at the middle school then that might be especially useful for them so that way they can sort out, uh, teachers can sort out the students out from the rest of their classes. But I'll just go through and rearrange in this instance have all the BE kids together and all the Scots kids together and I'm not paying attention to alphabetical in this instance because I can't actually see what their names are but that gives you an idea for what we'd be looking at and so now if I were to do attendance I would just need to look at this top section would be my BE kids and this bottom section would be my Scots kids and I don't have to bother with editing my seating chart and showing your hiding sections at any given time. So that is how you can use your seating chart in order to work for you and not against you. And if you'd like me to go over with this with you in person, then just let me know. I hope it helps.